Good morning, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter and Sorgatron.com is the blog. And today, let's talk about the trolls. I, I guess not the trolls, just the uh, commenters. Let's, uh, yo, know, if you're creating something, you're going to deal with this eventually. And we dealt with this uh, now yesterday. Um, I was, <laughs> I'm astonished. I, I really, I really am astonished. Uh, so our boy Chachi, ChachiPlays.com, Chachi says on the Twitter, um, I, I love this. I love this. Twice now, he has had somebody seemingly create a Twitter account to bash something that he makes. And that's it. Which, how heavy of a uh, critique can you take if it's coming from a Twitter account with a new egg on it? Um, I wonder. Uh, In this case, (laughs) I'm sorry, I'm still laughing at the situation because I love that, like, I wake up to this going on at, like, 6.30 in the morning. Um, But... And I'll get into what I think about it. In this case, uh, it was for our, our podcast that we do. Uh, insert coin to begin dot com does a podcast for about video games called uh, Boss Battle. And uh, we have a lot of fun with it. And we talk video games. And, and quite honestly, you know, no, we're not. Uh, uh, you know, as we've done this, the new generation of consoles has come out. And especially Chachi and I, you know, I, I'm not. I, I'm not interested personally in doing it. I'm doing a lot of my gaming right here on my phone, for instance. Um and not all of us have the high end consoles and that comes out especially at the at the top of the show because we do what'd you play this week you know and me it's like yeah i played a uh, super card and immortals and chachi's played whatever he's played uh for him you know on xbox 360 and it's like well we're, we're not we're not getting you know we're not getting new consoles and uh to to uh my side and everybody else said something and and to me you know, i i don't um it wasn't troll as in a uh, they're bashing us just to bash us, you know. I think it was a, a I think it was a fairly, um, good critique. You know, it's like if you're going to the comment was if you're going to do a video game podcast, why don't you talk about the new consoles? And it's like, well, we don't have them. You know, uh, Bobby does, uh, Riz does. You know, and my response was, uh, hey, you know, not everybody has this new stuff in this economy. We all play different things. And uh, the one guy who has been reviewing new consoles, no bash on Bobby, but Riz is the one that's actually been getting new games and reviewing them on the site for, you know, whatever it is that he has the money and he has the time to do these things. I don't have one or the other at any given time. Uh, and everybody else is busy with whatever. Um, but, uh, and this is just something, I mean, honestly, it's, it's something we do, you know, I want to say on the side, you know, um, cause we just like it, you know, um, we're not the well equipped, equipped video game journalists that have every console and, and can get all the new games as, um, you know, uh, uh, on budget or on, on, on loan from the publisher or anything like that. Uh, so, uh, you know, not to turn this into a defense defense piece on one tweet. That's not the point of this, but, but, but no, but that, that's kind of the situation that kind of led to this thought and this discussion. And I've been having so much fun, even with these, um, morning, uh, this, this with the good morning with the mayhem minute, um, and, and with the awesome cast and getting a lot of commentary, like getting a lot of response, you know, um, and I'm definitely a person, I was talking to somebody about this a few weeks ago, um, about how, uh, I'm not a person that takes, not that I don't take criticism well, uh, I don't want to feel like I piss somebody off, like that bugs me, and it's good to see from other shows that I've been watching that I'm not the only one, uh, especially some higher end people in customer service, but that's the other thing, customer service too, because I do stuff like the pittsburghwrestling.com, I want to make sure everybody has a good time has a good experience so they come back you know and genuinely i just want people not to be pissed you know like in day-to-day life in the uh feud with my neighbors you know i don't want them to be pissed at me you know um and i'm trying to try not to instigate that you know and i'm going to try to do the same thing on the internet although i have been doing having a lot of fun and trying to push buttons a little bit more with like you know questions from this and from the other shows and on twitter and just just get a rise out of people a little bit more and get kind of you know kind of like used to used to that you know because if you're going to make it Let's see, man, making it is such a uh, word. If I'm going to get more people to check this stuff out so that hopefully this is all I have to do, wouldn't be wouldn't it be fantastic if all I had to do is come down here in the basement every morning and do this, and that's my job, um, but uh, pipe dreams. Um, 
<laughs> you know, you're you're gonna get those responses. And, and like I said, with these, I've been getting a lot of stuff, uh, especially back and forth as far as the uh, the wrestling podcast has been very vocal. Uh, I've been sharing that over in some groups uh, over on Google Plus, and again, very very vocal and, and great conversations having there. Uh, some not so great. Uh, conversations and even with this too you know um a few weeks ago net neutrality was a pretty hot button issue apparently and uh some people hopped on there and said well no this is what this is really what's going on da, 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 you know um but you know it gauged me like i told my opinion you know and, and that's what you need to do and also uh you know well, well you're not feeling a troll i'm like again i don't consider that this guy a troll i think it's hilarious he created a twitter account just to comment on our show um that gets a nominal amount of listeners that I think um, in the grand scheme of things. But, um, but, but I, 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 you know, I'm going to respond and I want to respond, you know, very real, you know? Um, and, and, uh, and I think that's important. I, I think um, if people see that, even if the person maybe turn to the other person and say, no, that's not the kind of show this is, this is the kind of show, you know? And, 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 and also I think a lot of these people, this is what I always see. I always, always see this. Um, when somebody comments on something and you know, you're on YouTube and you throw something out and like, these aren't real people, this is the internet, you know? Um, and you actually respond and you say, oh, actually, you know, and you be a little human and, and put a face to it and show, Hey, I am listening. Um, you know, a lot of these people respond a little nicer, even if they had a wholly negative thing, uh, happen in the first place. I did some work a couple summers ago with Chair Shot Reality, Justin Labar, Mark Madden was on the show at the time, and uh, we were doing our production, uh, moved it, you know, it was me taking a lot of stuff I do with the wrestling, and uh, and doing it on location at Latitude 40 out in Robinson. And uh, we were working it out, trying to get the flow together, you know, it was a lot of, you know, I did the recording, I processed the video, and I sent it over to Labar to edit. Um, and, uh, and, and one of the, one of the catches we had in, and, you know, I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know. I know I don't have the greatest equip equipment by any means. Um, but there were, uh, the audio wasn't the great, greatest, uh, we were having issues because of the crowd noise and, and, um, you know, working that out and, and bringing everybody in the same way and, 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 uh, some things we had to work out and, uh, generally, Hey, it's a wrestling website over at wrestle zone. It's a very mainstream wrestling website. So you get a lot of crazy comments going on there. Um, but I, I definitely engaged with one guy that says, Hey, your audio is da da da, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and kind of, you know, we're really pointed down. It's like, and it's like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing what we can. We don't really have, uh, you know, we have this, this, and this. And, and the one guy was like, was like uh i'm an audio engineer you know i'd be like geez i do your audio for you i'm like hey man hit me with any suggestions completely honest and i actually had a back and forth decent conversation there in the comments uh on wrestlezone.com for the chair shot reality um and actually got some good tips out of it you know and everything and, and anything anything like this I, I call this my 50 dollar studio i mean the the audio problems we had here on tuesday night were absolutely ridiculous and i still don't under don't, i still don't understand how they have why they happened or anything like that i'm looking at this board i'm looking at this I, I i can't imagine that this board is going it's not that old um but again you know and i'm looking for any any feedback to that to anything that i do because i know i'm not the best at a lot of things but i want to be the best at it you know, as unattainable as that's going to be or whatever. Um, but uh, I know I'm not the best at social media. I know I'm not the best at podcasting, uh, you know, novice at best, probably. But um, I want to keep doing it. I'm going to keep putting in my thousand hours um, and uh, keep keep getting better and become the expert, you know, that some people out there seem to think that I am, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's enough of the self-deflating cast here. Uh, good morning, uh, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. I hope you enjoy your weekend. If you are in the Pittsburgh area, I will be down at Renegade Wrestling Alliance doing a production down there. It's going to be a fun show, an intergender Falls Count Anywhere match. And uh, sign up for the newsletter at SorgatronMedia.com for all the updates. On, we're going to start putting the events that we're uh, involved with like that in there that you can participate in as well if you're in the Pittsburgh area. And, of course, all the other stuff like DVDs, podcasts, and then little things like Sawtooth. There's another Sawtooth is due to come out Monday. What will he talk about? I think it's going to involve pigeons, to be honest. Um, if, if, if I remember what the run sheet looked like, I think it's going to be a pigeon talk. Yeah. Find out where the pigeons go when it gets cold. The answer may surprise you. Um, 
Until next time, have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.